Hi friends, welcome to my channel. So this is a very special vlog for me. This vlog is about my travel first time with my son Noah Kuti from Dubai to Budapest. And this is Noah Kuti's first flight travel. So who is Noah Kuti? Noah Kuti is my pet. He is a cat. But for me he is a son. This is our hero Noah Kuti. So Noah Kuti is a... Um, friendly cat who likes to mingle with people and travel. So we had a layover in Turkey for six and a half hours because we had taken uh, Turkish airlines. Trust me like any pet parent I was also very uh, concerned about traveling with him. However let me just tell you firstly it was extremely pleasant to travel with him uh, thanks to all who have contributed to me on that and I will explain you one by one on what are the things which I have taken care to make the journey easy. So first thing which I did even before planning for the uh, trip was training him on harness. Training a cat on harness actually takes ample amount of time. You have to first train him at home where uh, putting the Mm, harness dress because they will not get balanced at first they are not like dogs so it will take some time so minimum uh, before three months you have to start the activity now once they get the balance and all uh, then you have to put the uh, their harness completely and start taking them out uh, this will help the cat in two ways okay uh, this will help him to familiarize with uh, strange people uh, familiarize with strange sound with they hear outside because I used to take him to the car porch so he used to hear the uh, you know the car switching on that is a separate voice and all which actually helped him during the travel if you want to know further about uh, harness training how to do that please let me know I will make a video on that as well second thing I did was I registered with a pet relocation agent called as carry my pet yes i have contacted many many from the internet but i selected them because they were very friendly and answered my queries always thanks to you sachi and nahar for the same if it's your first time travel i recommend hiring a relocation agent across the journey they were along with me along with me doesn't mean they traveled with me but across the journey, they messaged me and was checking whether everything is okay and no good is comfortable and all the documentations are fine, etc. Thank you. Next important point is to buy a carry bag for your pet. This is a very important point which you have to check with the airline to know the exact dimensions required. When I ordered from online, I got one which was... 3 cm less in size and another which was 3 cm more in size. During our travel, the airline did not check the dimension. However, it is always safe to carry the correct dimension. For safety purpose, I carried both the bags. Even though I carried him on the bigger one, the smaller one was there in my carry bag. So that if at all the airline asked me to change, I can change him then and there. So the fourth and very important point Familiarize your pet with the bag he is going to travel. Allow him to play. Sometimes you close and take him outside so that he know about it. The next important point, point number five, pet passport and export certificate for no kuti. So this is a pet passport. It is nothing but his vaccination card, which will have all his details, the pet's name, date of birth, who is the owner, See, you can see his name, his date of birth, who is the owner and the pet should be microchipped. This is the point number six which is very important again. The microchip number and the date is to be mentioned on the passport. It's an important point. As soon as I contacted Carry My Pet, they have asked me about his passport and microchip. Thankfully, no could he had both already available with us vaccinations to be verified as per the EU regulations to take him on aeroplane. So all these details were verified by 
carry my pet well in advance and it was found that my son already got vaccinated for all those well in advance so it is so it is important to keep the vaccination for the pet on time uh, so that if you are planning to travel everything is ready with you and the one which is there on the screen is a export certificate which is also required to take the pet to any eu country so this one was also arranged by the pet relocation agent so this is why i said if it is your first time travel it is always better to hire a a relocation agent so that you have all the required documents with you and you are having the peace of mind now to to do this uh, document uh, they took my son 5 days before my travel to a registered veterinarian so that he they will examine the pet and then give us this certificate so that's about the documentation process so many of you asked me whether no kutty have a passport and had a, a curiosity to know what exactly is does the passport look like so i think i have explained it very well this pick the the pet relocation agent nahar took when he came to pick no kutty for the examination to the government veterinarian the, he took the pet and across the way he was updating me about him and everything was done very smooth and the big day has come we are in the airport no kutty is sitting in his bag comfortably on the luggage no kutty enjoyed the journey in the car towards the airport as well as in the airport he was sitting comfortably looking at people so i think the harness training which we did has helped him because he was already familiar about the situation of seeing new people and strange sound so he was comfortably sitting and enjoying his journey my friend smija has come to see us in the airport and she took couple of our moments in dubai airport the way towards our check in she had captured so let's see that the check in went very smooth they checked the uh, documents of nokuti and they asked to uh, weigh him uh the the pet weight should be less than 8 kg as per the airline guidelines they did not uh, check the centimeter of the bag or anything like that so everything went very smooth there after check in we had to leave the trolley and carry him in the hand and walk so we had to get into the train to go towards the terminal 1 now let me tell you the importance of point number 7 which is having a trolley suitcase a small trolley suitcase as your hand baggage it helped me to keep no kutty's bag on the trolley suitcase and carry him across mastercard launch also the pet is allowed in dubai uh, there was no problem they just asked me to keep the kid in the bag itself and we relax there for some time to tell you a very important point which is point number 8 carrying the pet in hand outside the bag for security check up i think here also the harness training has helped him he was very friendly with the security guards over there in all the security checks we have to take the pet out uh, and walk here we come towards the flight to and uh, no kutty is coming with me on the trolley bag very smart he was very calm uh, the, he was not at all anxious all this uh, while he was uh, very happily seeing what is there around and stuff this is a tip point number 9 go inside as last passenger to avoid any rush if there are people behind then they will also rush and we will also get tensed see he is sitting down near my leg Uh, he was okay but uh, sometimes he was tensed and he was looking around whether i am there or not so during the take off he was little tensed and he was calling me so i kept my hand uh, like this and i was i kept talking to him then he calmed down and he was just sitting and looking at us uh, so like that the journey uh, was okay 
I will recommend Turkish Airlines to travel with the pet to this region. The airline staff was very very friendly and there was a lot of leg space as well in the uh, flight. So overall it was a comfortable journey. On the screen now is Palm Jumeirah, Dubai. It was an amazing view. In another half an hour we all slept actually. Uh, the food also came, uh, the dinner, it was amazing. But in all the stress and tension, we did not take any of those videos. Now, this is a view of uh, Turkey from the air. Uh, that was an amazing shot as well. So now we are going to land in Turkey. So we have a layover of six and a half hours in Turkey. Now is the next important point. Point number 10. Take minimum 6 hours layover so that you have enough time to relax and for your pet he can have a small stretching session during the layover. This is another point uh, that I will stress, I will recommend you to take Turkish Airlines. Turkey airport was extremely pet friendly and they have many facilities for Noah Kuti to stretch and walk around for some time. I will just take you through all these one by one. So stay tuned and watch the video continuously till the end. Because we couldn't uh, shoot anything uh, during the security check, I will explain you about the security check which happened in Turkey. They did not even ask for Noah Kuti's any of the documents. They just checked my documents and my daughter's document and that's it. They did not ask for his any documents. And the, in the security check, they were all extremely friendly with my son. Here in Turkey also, you have to take out the pet from the bag and carry him in, his, in our hand while passing through the security check. The airport is beautiful and it's very huge. So we just saw a pet uh, toilet and we are walking towards that. You can see the boat there and we have reached there. When we reached there, there was no one. So we could uh, enter directly. Even though I had placed in the bag uh, napkins for Noah Kuti, if at all he do anything, something in uh, during the journey, I mean peeing or anything, uh, he did not do anything uh, during the journey. So, uh, in the uh, pet uh, toilet, all the facilities were already there. However, I had carried portable litter box was there with me. We were all relaxed to see this place. So, I just opened and gave him time to come out by himself. And I just sat there. There is facility to even park the uh, pet inside this uh, uh, pet toilet uh, this is a litter box which is kept there for cats to pee but he was not going inside first he was little scared and he was sitting near me so we gave him time After uh, Noah Kuti's uh, stretching session was over, we checked for a uh, MasterCard launch in Turkish airport and we decided to take rest there. The Turkish airport MasterCard launch is so huge and we have space to nicely sleep there 
it was very cozy comfortable and the food was also nice i will just show you the uh, mastercard launch facilities as much as i could uh, take because we also had uh, something to eat and then we slept for some time there all three of us yeah i will tell you one thing till uh, till now no kuti did not eat anything even though in between i was giving i was i was trying to feed him and all uh, while he was stretching there in the pet toilet also i gave him food and water he did not drink or eat anything so i was a bit tensed uh, why he was not eating anything uh but uh, as we all rested for some time relaxed for some time he was also relaxed and he also uh, ate um, uh, some of his food and he had water so i was happy however he did not pee till this time uh, see you can see from the bag a light blue thing uh, i think it is not clear that is his um, pee pad which i had kept if at all he wants to pee he can pee and i can change it i had kept uh, uh, some tissue as well as some pee pads extra uh, in his uh, in the side of the bag see this is a mastercard launch uh, area where we can eat the food but there is a separate area nice cozy seating to lay down and sleep so while neha slept i fed him see i had kept uh, a small bowl and uh, uh, his food as well as water and i kept it inside his uh, uh, bag and now that it is very calm and quiet he is he also ate food and I, when i kept the water he drank the water also and then after that he slept for like around 2 uh, hours so when it was boarding time for the next flight to budapest the same there was no checking for no akute extra and uh, we just uh, entered uh, to turkish airlines and yeah the journey continues but let me just tell you the uh, domestic uh, airlines turkish airlines was not as comfortable as the international one the leg space was lesser but the staff was very friendly we got our uh, breakfast so we had the breakfast while no kuti slept in the flight uh, for around 1 hour our immigration will be in budapest basically so uh, across the flight i was tensed about the immigration what will they ask will there be any import uh, license which they will be asking but trust me there was no such questions asked in the budapest airport they just verified uh my documents and my daughter's documents and that's it they did not even ask for no kuti's passport or the or the export certificate so nothing was asked and it was very smooth this time also while landing no kuti was little bit uh annoyed uh so what i did was i just kept my hand on him and i kept talking to him and looking at him and then he just quietly said like that and uh, alhamdulillah we landed uh, perfectly fine in budapest this is the view from of budapest from the air enjoy and from budapest uh, we took a taxi we had booked a taxi actually to go to slovakia so our final destination was slovakia 
so hope you all enjoyed this video and got some information about traveling with a pet so let me just tell you it was extremely uh, it was not at all stressful it was extremely enjoyable journey so there is nothing to worry to travel with your pet if you have any doubts please do contact me uh, in the uh, you can ask in the comments or you can contact me on my email id i will give all the details in the description box below so if you like this video please do like comment share and uh, subscribe to my channel uh, one more thing if you want to know how to train the pet on uh, harness please let me know i will make a video on that uh, as well so thank you for watching and see you soon in another episode with another simple video till that time you all take care and bye bye